Mr. Taylor has been feeling tired and weak lately, so he's going to see Dr. Endicott. Dr. Endicott notes that Mr. Taylor has a family history of many different types of cancers. His father died of a brain tumor. His brother died of pancreatic cancer. His sister is fighting breast cancer. And his son was diagnosed with bone cancer last year. Dr. Endicott performs some lab tests and learns that Mr. Taylor has colon cancer. The colon is the first six feet of the large intestine. Because Dr. Endicott caught the cancer early, Mr. Taylor has a good chance of surviving. Mr. Taylor wants to know why so many people in his family have developed some type of cancer. Looking at the family history, Dr. Endicott diagnoses the family with Lee-Fromini syndrome, a hereditary disorder characterized by familial multiple tumors. The tumors are caused by a mutation in the P53 gene. A mutation is a change in an organism's DNA. The P53 gene codes for a protein that regulates cell division. Though the exact mechanism isn't known, the P53 protein senses problems in the cell's DNA. When the protein detects DNA damage, specifically incorrectly paired or mismatched bases, it tells the cell not to divide until the DNA has been repaired. If the DNA can't be fixed, P53 tells the cell to commit suicide, so the damaged DNA is not passed on to daughter cells. When P53 is mutated, the protein can't do its job, and mismatched base pairs may not be caught and fixed. Any mutation or change in the DNA is passed on to all daughter cells. With a mutant P53 protein, Mistakes in the DNA are not repaired before cell division. More and more mutations accumulate with each cell division. Eventually, the genes that keep cancer from occurring will be mutated. Depending on which genes are mutated, different cancers occur. Lee-Fromini syndrome shows why it's important for cells to detect changes in the DNA during replication. Mr. Taylor's father was born with a mutation in the P53 gene. Therefore, his cells were unable to detect changes in his DNA, and a brain tumor formed. The P53 mutation was present in his sperm cells, so he passed the mutation to his children. Mr. Taylor then passed it to his son. One way mutations can occur is during DNA replication. During DNA replication, all of the organism's DNA is copied. For humans, around 3 billion base pairs have to be copied. Because changes in an organism's DNA are rarely beneficial, it's critical for DNA replication to be very accurate. The structure of DNA provides a perfect mechanism for ensuring the DNA replication is very accurate. Also, normal cells have proofreading mechanisms to catch errors in the DNA.